Welcome back. So Saturday morning I was at the local pick apart looking for a connector for our low level sensor there on the coolant reservoir and the first jetta that I walked up to, there it is. So I got that. Mission accomplished. And then I headed into the shop to run the engine and uh, Jim joined me for a little while. We actually put uh, 10 gallons of fuel in the tank above what I already had and I dipped the tanks and we ran the engine for about two hours with about an hour and 45 of that at um, 2500 RPM and it only used about uh, six gallons altogether, which is amazing. Anyway, here's a bit of that slow motion video. I'll let you listen to this for a little bit and see this is when the engine's cold. And here's a similar video when the engine's warm. And I can't tell the difference and I think the sound is just the injectors and the fuel pump and you're welcome to leave a comment. And Monday morning back on the machine just wanted to quickly create a mold um, for the lower skin of the aileron trim tab. That's something that we didn't actually create uh, proper molds of it. And this is what it looks like after it's off the machine and had uh, first round of primer on there and just some guide coat. So that's basically going to become a quick mold and we don't need one for the upper surface because we just actually cut it out of the aileron skin. And here's Keith in the fuselage just exposing the holes for those hard point brackets for the seat belts and uh, just getting those ready so we can uh, put the brackets in place. And a couple more hard points. This is one for a little uh, manifold for the uh, landing gear hydraulics and that's in the nose compartment and uh, Zach bonded that into place. And there's another one there uh, in the back there and that's where the uh, hydraulics sort of sp uh, split out the left and right um, and gear cylinders there. And as you can see, Keith's got uh, one of the brackets there fitting. He's just test fitting them all now. They, they don't need to stay in there right away. Um, but we did uh, measure up for the seat belts and they'll be uh, sorted out soon in terms of where how long we're cutting them for the brackets. Uh, and then there's that bracket again, or the hard point. So that's had a layup over it. This is again Tuesday now, today. And uh, more work going on in here. Um, there's Zach just putting the layup over the top of that one, the bracket that he put in on Monday. And up front, the elevator torque tube has just been fit into place there with the brackets um, that were bonded in there, or the hard points that were bonded in last week. And on the doors here, we've got all the pin locks sitting in place now, but I actually still have to do a little bit of uh, just trim work around where the last layup was to allow the actuators to go full of, uh, through their full motion. And that's something that I'll actually be working on tomorrow, getting that sorted out. And we'll work on the doors. So here, um, using my new two fluted or two fluted, yeah, two fluted end mill to cut out some holes in a little bit of um, rectangle aluminum tube here. That's going to become a quadrant there on each of the doors for uh, actuating all the door locks. And so here's the second one. So that first one you saw just now, and this is the second one just getting underway. And now while that's going, I just wanted to actually tell somebody had uh, asked about everything going up front in the cabin about where that could be made modular and yeah the plan is to actually do that so we wouldn't have to have so many hard points and everything like that put in the forward bulkhead we'd actually have the, like a full assembly of the whole um, dash and side sticks and rudder pedals and all that sort of stuff that would be assembled outside and then the whole thing just sort of slid in and bolted in with maybe four bolts so that's something that um, you know we can do for production to speed things along so there's not as much manual layup of uh, hard points. And here's Devin uh, prepping the counterweight rod that lives in the leading edge of uh, the ailerons. And he's just uh, scuffing it up so that it bonds nicely to the resin. And that allows the uh, aileron to be balanced. And so here it is laid in place. And this is everything now in this aileron. This is the right side one. Um, all prepped and ready to have the skin bonded on, the other skin bonded on. So there's the hard point for where the actuator bolts in. And uh, all the ribs are in there, and then the little hard points there where the hinges are going to 
attached to um, and they, they'll just be sort of drilled in um, after the fact once that's bonded uh, or bonded together so that's all looking good and just put tape around the outside edge there so it um, doesn't um, get high soil all on the mold when he's bonding the two together because you know using the mold is a nice way of keeping it all nice and straight and so here's the other one that one's all prepped up as well there's the hard point for the actuator there put in place and he also has a little an extra little flange there um, that's set up um, to help bond it to the skin there so you don't get sort of a banging effect there between the skin and that hard point so that one's all ready to go as well so it's exciting um, starting to put more of the control surfaces together and uh, won't be long and uh, we'll be on to the elevators as well and speaking of elevators these are the side sticks that you've seen before so what I'm doing here is I've actually trimmed them to the right length and I've put a notch in the end there and there's the little cap that goes on the end and there's going to be a match drilled hole there with a bolt that keeps that on and uh, the reason for the notch there is to allow the uh, cables there for the wiring that comes out of the side sticks to come out of there so that's kind of what it looks like like that and then there's a little bearing that bolts onto that end thing there and another uh, connector that you'll see all later on that hooks it all up to the elevator torque tube that uh, you've seen in the front of the aircraft earlier anyway so this basically this allows that um, stick there to pull all the way back and still have a little bit of extra clearance there and um, the, you know the wires won't get damaged or whatever so that's how that all operates and here we are in the cabin again and so actually Jeremy's in the process now of running the aileron cables um, and he's actually just using his little um, makeshift snake there to run the, the cable all the way down to the other end there and pull it through the pulleys and here's Jeff uh, getting set up there um, putting down the high sole to close out the first of the ailerons so this is the right hand side one and uh, just putting some high sole on all the um, flange areas around the edge there and also on the ribs and then uh, ready to bond it up and I also ran up to Brits really quickly this afternoon so he could weld up um, those pieces there for the little quadrants for the doors that actuate um, the um, the different uh, pin locks and hook locks and you'll see that in the in the coming days when I get that all test fitted together and hopefully fingers crossed that um, the design and that works nicely and all the uh, locks will get actuated at the same time to the same level and when I got back this evening Jeff had um, finished bonding in that first skin there closed out the first aileron there and he's got some of the 2x4 steel on there holding that down so it uh, stays nice and compressed while the high sole sets up so that's one down and the guys have moved the four large wing skin molds now um, from our storage area down to our main shop and as you can see here Keith's busy in the process waxing um, all four of them up there actually I think a couple of them already been done yeah they did them actually a week ago while they were down the other shop so he's just doing the other two so it won't be long and uh, Jeff will be cutting core for those and um, getting those skins made so that's super exciting and while Jeff had the high sole mixed uh, this afternoon uh, Jeremy and I quickly grabbed a little bit of it and uh, bonded these um, end um, sort of brackets there for where the cable ends are and bonded those into place uh, in the wing strike so that's uh, those down the, the ones that live in the keel haven't been done yet but they're only small and they won't take too long to do and lastly uh, Zach uh, did a layup here in the cabin there over where those compression sleeves were put in for the doors uh, in the rear pressure bulkhead and there's that other one he did as well so that's our update for the first half of this week um, thanks again for watching hopefully you enjoyed it uh, tune in again on Saturday there'll be uh, lots more to come with uh, three days of progress ahead of us thanks for watching